Dear brothers and sisters, I greet all of you on this day dedicated to prayer for our beloved nation, the United States of America. Let us ask God to make truth and justice triumph. Let us ask him to dispel the lies and deceptions of the children of darkness. You have organized these marches in many cities in America and named them after a biblical event, the siege of Jericho. Jericho was the first city that the people of Israel came to after they crossed the Jordan River and entered the promised land. The way that God commanded the Hebrew people to conquer Jericho shows us the wonderful ways of the Lord, which are so different from our ways. The book of Joshua tells us that Jericho was walled up and completely closed. It appeared to be an impregnable fortress. It appeared that a long siege would be necessary to conquer it by anger, or else that a huge weapons of war would be needed to break down its walls. And yet, the only thing God commanded was that the people walk around the city with the Ark of the Covenant, blowing the Jubilee's trumpet, and the soldiers and people follow in perfect silence for seven days. God did not want to make the city of Jericho fall immediately, in order to show mercy to his inhabitants and invite them to do penance. As St. John Chrysostom says, the Lord who took six days to create the heavens and the earth took seven days to destroy a sinful city. The jubilee trumpets that sounded around the city were used by the Jews to announce pardon and forgiveness. God would not have made them sound without an ending that was full of goodness. In the same way, an ending that is full of goodness inspires our prayer today for our country and for our presidents. Even little children walk with their mothers around the city. Those little ones were the most chosen portion of all because they embodies the innocence that overwhelm wickedness. Thus, moral strength fought against brutal violence. Faith fought against unbelief. Obedience fought against arrogant rebellion. Humility fought against pride. And faith in the Lord fought against the presumption of man. God revealed the superiority of the power of God, the power of good, over the power of evil, through an astonishing intervention. We too in this hour of great tribulation for our nation are praying that truth will triumph over lies, justice over abuse and fraud, honesty over corruption, honor over infamy, faithfulness over betrayal, and that order would triumph over destruction. We are the silent army of the children of light, the humble ranks who overthrow evil by invoking God the praying army that walk around the walls of lies and betrayal in order to bring them down. We fight the battle of the Lord with faith and courage, carrying the Ark of the Covenant in our hearts, remaining faithful to the teaching of the Gospel of our Lord. 
we don't we don't need material strength to fight because we have the Lord of Army at our side. Nothing can resist the power of the prayer. The walls of the deep state behind which evil is barricaded will come crashing down. Jericho was also the place where Jesus Christ converted the tax collector Zacchaeus. We pray for the conversion of public officials who have become complices in public fraud and have betrayed their oath to serve our nation. Along the road that led from Jerusalem to Jericho, the Good Samaritan stopped to help and care for the travel who was attacked by robbers. May his fraternal charity be an example for patriots who are called to serve our homeland that has been attacked and wounded by both internal and external enemies. It was also in Jericho that the Lord healed Bartimaeus of his blindness. May the blind man's faith spur us on to conversion, so that we place our trust once again in God, and that He may hear the cry of our prayer for our beloved nation. We are citizens of heaven. This is the homeland that waits us for eternity. On this earth, we are also children of the homeland that gave us birth and in which we are raised up and educated, a homeland we have served with a dedication and courage. Be proud, as Christian as as patriot, to be able to give witness today to your faith in God and your love for the United States of America for his constitution, for his president, Donald J. Trump. Let us pray. O Lord, almighty God, prostrate before thee, we invoke thy powerful protection in this hour of great turmoil. When darkness seems to be spreading over our beloved nation. Make vain the assault of those who, blinded by vice and hatred to thee, wish to subject our nation and the whole world to the tyranny of sin and rebellion. Grant wisdom and courage to those who are called to decide the fortunes of the United States of America and to those who serve their country with fidelity and honor. God bless our president and our public officials. For those who exercise the power entrusted to them from above, obtain the graces necessary to carry out their duties with integrity and justice. Almighty God, who many times has manifested the power of thy right hand at the side of Christian armies, place thyself at the head of this army of thy children. Let the prayer we witness we address to thee through the intercession of Our Lady of Guadalupe the patroness of the Americas, rise up to thee, so that we may attain the freedom and peace that thou hast promised us. And just as in the time of Joshua, raise up holy heroes and courageous witnesses of the faith, so that also today, here, the prayer we raise to thee and break down the walls of the city of darkness 
granting victory to those who served under thy holy banner. Amen. God bless our president. God bless the United States of America, one nation under God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.